Bill is a caravan park squatter on parole. He's an expensive headache for site owners Graham and Jan because he owes them thousands, but the law says he can't be kicked out. So we paid him a visit. Absolutely rude, despicable is the word. We're just running out of options to get him out. Are you squatting here at the I'm moment? Not answering your question, so please leave. And doesn't pay a cent of rent and thinks he can do all this to us. It's just beyond a joke. This person is taking advantage of both them and the system. He's the caravan park squatter with a dark past, refusing to leave or pay rent. He owes 5400 which is virtually nine months rent. Graham and Jan Bolton have run Green Hills Caravan Park for more than a decade. While the business has experienced some difficult tenants, the couple say William Pine is by far the worst they've ever had. He's using our water, our power, destructive in the park, tampering with our sort of services and that and gets away with it. Bill moved into the park in November last year and agreed to pay $160 a week in rent, but within months he'd stop paying. To make matters worse, the couple say every time they complain to Bill, he retaliates. He rings up all these authorities telling them that, you know, I'm not doing things properly in the park to get them out here to go over everything. He's just a troublemaker yeah. and he can't help himself. William Pine likes to play the innocent victim, even calling police on the owners. But it turns out this squatter is a convicted criminal. Weren't we supposed to be told he was a known pedophile when he came to this park? According to the parole officer, someone should have told us. I can't comment on that, unfortunately. Even before they knew about his past, Graham issued Bill a notice to terminate tenancy over unpaid rent back in May. When Bill refused to leave, the park owners went to the New South Wales Civil Administrative Tribunal. When we um, finally got him into ANCAT court, the member told him that he didn't, he couldn't adjudicate on the case because we didn't have him under a, a contract and virtually told him he could live here free forever. Why should I be dealing with this? He knows damn well that he owes us this amount of money and he's sort of abusing me. Hi, Bill. Uh, Jess from A Current Affair. Just wondering if we could speak to you about the ongoing dispute you're having with the owners of the caravan park at the moment. <laughs> Nothing to say. Nothing to say? Nothing to say. And are you squatting here at the um, moment? Not answering your question, so please leave. Yeah. We, we understand you've refused to pay them rent for, and you owe them $5,000. The reception Bill gave us is one Graham and Jan say they're given time and time again. It's just got an ongoing thing. It just ignores you, swears at you. Having slammed the door in the face of the caravan park owners again, Bill has now been inside his van for more than an hour and is refusing to come out, leaving Graham and Jan at a loss of what to do next to evict this squatter. Where do you go? The police say you can't tow him out. You can't turn his bloody power off. What do you do? The difficulty here is this fellow did not have a written lease and so he's what they call a tenant at will and unfortunately the landholders are subject to the laws in that respect. Lawyer Christine Smythe feels for the couple but says the only solution is by entering a lengthy, complex and possibly costly legal battle. They can spend the money getting the proper legal advice but they won't be able to recover it. So they may recover the $5,400 odd dollars but they may spend just as much to recover it. Bill. We're here to collect the rent. You owe us $5,400. When are you going to start paying some? What's your next move, gutless wonder? Ring the police, is it? Oh, OHS, yeah. council, gas folks, fair trading. What's your next move? Just as Graham and Jan predicted, Bill has called the police on us. William Pine? Oh, that's him. Won't okay. open the door. Yeah, we knew he'd call you. But he wasn't too keen to chat with them while our cameras were rolling. I'm going to put all my cameras in. How do I find out what you want? 
John, invite us in, William. We'll have a chat. We can't help you then if you don't talk to us, mate. Court documents reveal William Pine was convicted of three counts of indecent assault of a minor in June last year and then again in February this year of failing to comply with reporting under the Child Protection Offenders Registration. The parole officer came out here two weeks ago, so it's quite official he is a known pedophile. Other tenants at Green Hills are supporting Graham and Jan's tough stance. If it was me, and I owned the park, I'd just get a tow truck and pull, pull the thing out. I mean, that'd be the Australian way, wouldn't it? This bastard owes us over 5,000 in rent, has totally refused for nine months to pay anything. Um, are we allowed to tow him out or turn his power off? Oh, that'd be something that you've got to organise with the tribunal. Have you been to the We've tribunal? We've been to the tribunal. He, yeah. he dismissed it. The police leave without resolving the situation, but then days later, a breakthrough. The park's security cameras capture Bill leaving with his caravan in tow, a day Graham and Jan thought they would never see. It's just a, such a relief to see him go. Um, I've got to thank you guys for that. Um, all I've got to say is I pity the next park that this despicable person ends up at. Graham and Jan have no idea where Bill's gone. He left still owing them $5,000.